What's Gucci YouTube? Now, before I start today's video, I kind of want to give you guys a little backstory, pretty much about when I first started shooting film. When I got into film photography, I did a ton of research on different cameras to buy, and a bunch of camera brands, Nikon, Minolta, uh, I was gonna say Sony, but Sony is digital. Digital. And along the way of that research, I found this camera brand that really stood out to me for a number of reasons. One, they did something that was different. They did something that pretty much nobody else did. Two, it was more of a fun type of photography. The products they made, uh, their films and such like that, it gave off this fun vibe and a fun type of photography. So I did more research on the brand and I found their website and I looked into their different cameras and such. And there was one camera that stood out in particular. This thing right here, you guys, is the Lomo LCA. And I remember when I first started shooting film, I really, really wanted this camera, but I just couldn't afford it at the time. Now, the reason why this is an interesting camera to me is because of the size, it's small, I love it. And you guys know I have a soft spot for the Olympus XA. And this camera very much reminds me of that camera. Lomo actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out one of their products. And so I was like, Hell yeah, man. So I asked if I could try out the Lomo LCA and they sent it over along with some dope film. On the right right here, we have black and white Lady Grey Lomo film. This is at 400 speed. We have three rolls of that. And we also have Lomo 100. This stuff right here is the ish, you guys. I'm just saying straight up. And so they were nice enough to send this stuff out and I'm gonna go out today, shoot the camera, come back home, and also tell you guys my first impressions and do a quick little review overview of the entire camera. So without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get out there and shoot the Lomo LCA, baby. What's going on you guys? So we are in Old Town Sac right now and I brought out with me the Lomo LCA. This little guy right here. Uh, looks like an interesting camera. What I'm gonna do is, hold on, come close real quick, come close. Do you guys see that? <laughs> we just found some Lomo 100. I'm just kidding, but Lomo sent these over for us to try out and we're gonna go ahead and shoot some street photography. So I'm gonna load this up and we'll be on our way. What's that dude talking about? 
So really quick, we're walking up to this corner here and there's some street performers and uh, if you guys were looking for some street photography tips, the best place to take some street photography photos is when you're more in a crowded location. Uh, as you see here, there's a bunch of people focusing their attention on the ventriloquist, is that what they call them with the little puppets and stuff? Roger? Something like that. So they're not paying attention, you can get through and get some easy shots. Alright you guys, so we made it back home and now I want to give you guys my honest review on the Lomo LCA Plus, give you guys a little tour and talk about my shooting experience with the camera. Now first up, let's go ahead and get a quick look at the camera here. On the top right corner we have Lomo written out. We have this little character, this little dude inside of the viewfinder. Uh, right here in front of the lens cover it says Minotaur 32mm 2.8, so it has a pretty wide lens and a 32 uh, 2.8 lens on it. Right up here on the bottom, if you flip this over, it will reveal the lens, and so you have your viewfinder up here, uh, nice and shiny, and you have your lens. If you guys look right here on the left side of the camera, this is where you set your ISO. If you guys didn't know, the Loma LCA Plus has automatic exposure, so all you have to do is set your ISO. I think it ranges from 50 all the way up to uh, 1600 ISO, and the camera will automatically set shutter speed and aperture for you. On the left here, this is your distance scale. The Loma LCA Plus is a zone focusing camera. At the very top here, we have the closest, we have 0.8 meters. Move it down to the second setting, it's 1.5 meters. Third is three meters, and I think last one is infinity. So I cannot think of the equivalent two feet right now just because. So moving on to the top of the camera, it's pretty simple. Again, we have Lomo LCA Plus uh, written out here on the right side. This is your shutter release right here. And the awesome thing about this one is that it's threaded. So you can use a shutter release cable. You can use a soft shutter release button. Uh, we also have here a hot shoot. And then we have the rewind, the rewind lever, which if you guys go ahead and pull up, just like any other standard film camera, it will open up that back door. Uh, the back side of the camera is pretty standard, you know, pretty much what you're gonna see out of uh, most film cameras nowadays. <laughs> Moving on to the bottom, which probably has one of the most important features on this camera. So you're gonna have a tripod, tripod, tripod threaded mount right in here. Uh, this is your rewind button. So you're gonna press this down, uh, run your, when you finish your roll and then rewind your film. And last but not least, we have this little switch here that says, I don't know if you guys can see it, let me get it to focus in here. It says MX. Now what MX does is basically what it is, it's a multi-exposure lever. So if you guys are interested in doing double exposure, triple exposures, you can do as many as you want with this little feature here. Uh, you wind up the film, you take your shot, you hit that little lever and you can take another shot right away, right after. All on the same frame. So 
That's probably the most awesome feature about the Lomo LCA. I didn't really experiment with it because I thought it was kind of tricky to get used to, uh, but I'm sure if I spent more time with this camera, I could get that double exposure, triple exposure, hell, a million exposure down on one single frame. So now that pretty much covers the entire camera. Like we said, it's a smaller camera. Most of the body is built out of plastic, but it's weird that the LCA, it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic camera. It actually has some nice weight to it. A lot of people call these things toy cameras, and I can definitely see why they might they may say that, but the truth is, this is actually an extremely capable camera. No, it might not be an Olympus XA, it might not have a rangefinder, but it does have automatic exposure. This thing can go all the way up to 1600 ISO, which even the XA can't even do. The zone focusing on here is pretty easy to get used to. Uh, it was kind of weird for me because this is probably the first time I ever zone focused with a uh, like a dedicated zone focusing camera. But nonetheless, this camera is solid. The shutter sounds nice. Uh, if you guys look here at the lens, every time you change it, it does change with the this distance scale. And I can see myself carrying this thing around uh, throughout the city if I don't want to bring anything serious, if I just want to have a fun day, or maybe it's with a family and I, you know, I don't want to bring serious gear, uh, and I kind of just want to enjoy my time out with them. The Lomo LCA is a great option for that, and uh, if you're a street photographer, this can be also a great option for you as well. Uh, there is some complaints I do have about this camera that I kind of want to talk about. The first one being the back door. Now, I don't know if you guys seen it in the video, but I actually used gaffer's tape to close up the back door here. I don't know if it's my version or if it's my copy, the one they sent over to me, but it only really closes if you really try to fiddle with it. It's really like, like here you go, I'll try to close it up and it'll open right back up. So I have no clue why it's doing that, um, but you know, some gaffer's tape will do the trick. And the second thing that I complain about is the 32 millimeter 2.8 lens. Now I'm gonna throw an image up on the screen here this is the image of the little boy with the ventriloquist. Um, if you guys see right in the center, it's pretty dang on sharp. But let's go ahead and move off to the edges, particularly to the left and right, the very corners of the frame, you're gonna see that it gets really soft. The image becomes blurred. You know, that's the honest result from the lens of this camera, sharp in the middle, and it gets extremely soft on the side. It almost kind of reminds me of a fish eye of some sort. But other than that, this is a capable camera for a number of reasons and applications. Um, I don't know if I'd keep one in my personal collection just because this one isn't mine, it's Lomo's. Uh, but they were nice enough to send this over to me, so thank you to the Lomo team for sending this out and letting me try it out. And also, thank you for this film. Alright you guys, so I'm going to wrap it up right there. Thank you guys for watching another King Jace video. At the end of the day, the Lomo LCA might be known as a toy camera, but like I said, the truth behind it is it's a capable camera. It might not be for everyone, but it definitely has a crowd that this thing could stick to. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the Lomo LCA, and let me know if you guys would ever shoot one or if you have one yourself. Thank you for watching another King Jace video. Until next time, baby. Minota gang. Bah, bah, bah.